Hello, I am back today with Uber Chic Beauty Holiday Jingle. This is their um, holiday 2017 plate. And let me do just a quick scroll of it for you here. This has all of the kind of stuff that you love and adore on a Christmas or um, a holiday wintery kind of plate. It goes very well with Uber Chic Beauty's previous plate, so that is great too. And of course, one of the things she's doing more and more lately is lots more layering images. So you've got like this gorgeous bow that you can layer and that makes it very easy instead of having to make like a whole decal. Just stamp your little, you know, your bow in red and then in gold or bl black or whatever kind of outlines you want. Um, adorable little Santa guy here. Love it. Um, we've got some nice big snowflakes. Uh, great negative space images. I love that she gives you these because that makes it so easy to just do something really quick over a gorgeous um, green hollow or like I have uh, some glitters that look like they're green but they have like red glitters and things in them so they almost look like uh, a Christmas tree that has decorations on it and so you just stamp that over this in black and boom. Perfect Christmas Manny. Cute little Christmas trees with no effort whatsoever. Um, I love this fancy little Santa guy uh, making a list and checking it twice. These are not going to interfere. These are just, they're not interfering with the quality here. These are just like little, you know, they're surface scrapes. We wish you a Merry Christmas in the tree. That's really sweet. And I love this sprig of holly and I love the free edges that she gives you so you can play with. So like just imagine that you have like a red manicure and you stamp that in, you know, silver or white across the top as like a French manicure. Easy French manicure. You don't have to worry about placement because it's not going to be a perfect line. Um, you know, so you don't have to, it's, even if it's a little bit off, it's still not going to look bad. Um, you could have like a white mani and then stamp that in green over it and then go over like the little um, mistletoe parts or if, it, if you want it to be mistletoe, do it in white. If you want it to be um, holly, you could do it in red. Gorgeous mani. It's going to look like you spent hours doing it. It's going to take you no time flat. Uh, same thing here. We've got some holly berries. Um, I don't know. I feel like if you do this and make the berries white, it could look like mistletoe. I, I know it's holly and it's meant to be holly, but seriously, I think we can cut ourselves a little bit of slack and make it into mistletoe if that's what we really wanted. And again, like you could even have that as uh, like a French tip. And it would be adorable. Uh, love this present. So you've got three layers. So you can stamp your present one color, your bow in another color. And then, of course, your outline to really make it pop off of whatever your background is. So, like, you could have this, for example, as a background or that as a background. And then have some presents going across your nail. Um, also, her texture plates that she does. She's got three plates in the Texturelicious series. And there are all kinds of textures on there that are going to, you know, go well with anything in any holiday season. And then, you know, you just stamp those and then put a couple of these over and you're going to be good to go. I love this poinsettia. I'm, I think they're elegant and sophisticated and just a really beautiful way to celebrate the season. So I love that you can either, um, you can kind of fill your whole nail with that if you want to or just get like parts of it coming across, uh, coming up off your half moon or coming across your nail or, you know, even if you again wanted it as like a French tip gorgeous. Always, always, always play with those free edges when she gives them to you, and she gives them to you a lot. I love what I love about this, um, the candy cane stripe here, is that it gives you the visual illusion of being round. I love that because then it's not just the normal kind of straight across, and I think that um, that makes it look more like a candy cane. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, do-it-yourself snowman so you can stamp your white and then, you know, all your little accoutrements in all your different colors if you want. Put a little orange there on that one for the carrot put whatever color you want there like red scrape that way and you won't get the bleeding of the colors so you can keep the, the orange and the um, other color preserved and you'll do great there love that you can decorate your own christmas trees with your own kind of garland your own kind of um little uh, ornaments and then you can even do you know your your tree topper there uh, in yellow if you want same thing scrape that way and you'll be able to preserve your colors here uh different from that color there if you want to do it yourself candles so you can have a nice little ribbon around your candle and your gorgeous little flame candy canes and on one of her previous ones I can't forget I can't remember if it was last year's or the year before but she's got a layering image that's a full nail image of candy canes so that would be great to mix and match with that as well if you have it do it yourself um, light so you stamp the light and then you can stamp this in like silver or white and there and that gives the illusion that it's like shimmering a little bit that is actually lit and then you can stamp this in like um, green or silver or whatever you want for the base of your little light.
gingerbread man so you can do yourself gingerbread man so she's really going all out with the layering images on this you can do it yourself um, uh, with your wreath and again now you could do this in, in two layers which is probably what I would do I would probably do this in one color your little bulbs here um, and then use a piece of scotch tape to kind of remove um, the bow and then do the opposite do this in a different color and carefully use scotch tape to remove the other and then you could get um, three colors as well you could try doing it like if you wanted the bow in red and this in silver putting your polishes there and scraping carefully but it's it's gonna be hard to do it without getting a little bit of interference that's why I would probably do that in an extra step uh, and then you've got your full nail image to go with this and this would be great for, ha for hollows because you know hollows give that shimmery light effect so how cool would it be to have your full nail image with your hollow shining through um you could even do like a smoosh mani with different colors of hollows and then it looks like all of these different colored lights popping through um if you stamped in uh, black or gold or silver oh, it would be so cute i love scribble trees and i love that these are like filigree scribble trees very cool of course, you've got your sweater. Um, you know, they call them ugly Christmas sweaters. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't think they're ugly. I think they're cute. So I really love that. Some snowflakes. Easy one pass Manny. You can play around with, um, you know, you could, you know, put different dots of different colors of polish here. Um, even like silver and white and get some interesting effects. Or you can just do one pass stamping. Love this for texture and for background, these little trees. So like maybe you want to use that as your background under your little presence or maybe you want to have um, a couple of your nails with this and a couple of your nails with that so you don't have just all one pattern over and you give a little bit more interest so play around another thing of she gives you the little single one here but I love this layering tree so for me this looks like it should be snow so you you stamp this in green and this in white so you've got snow over your tree of course it could be anything people like to have like the pink flocked trees those are like coming back right so you could do whatever you want with that don't have to limit yourself love this cute little simple linear reindeer and there's a lot of times when um you, you wouldn't know it from my blog but there's a lot of times when i like to go pretty simple with my manicure so i would do like just a red manicure and then have that stamped in gold on the bottom of one of my nails one of my accent nails and boom that would be it I love that but you could also mix and match it with you know with other things on here she's giving you a bunch of different kinds of um, snowflakes so you can collage your own snowflake manicure if you want a ah! uh, jingle and mingle that's really cute little angel um, little uh, jingle bell I think that's really cute and I think that could be adorable to just have like I would probably do it in this direction and to just have like on your in your half moon area even if you just had that across your nails, that would be adorable. Uh, you, you can layer your hat here so you can get different colors there. And I really love, I think she has, I'm pretty sure on both of her other plates, she has a different nativity. Um, and I love that this one is simple. Just you've got, you know, the baby Jesus in the manger and then the star above it. Um, you can add in the little away in a manger if you want to. But you could just have, you know, like all silver and just have that in black on your nail and it would be a gorgeous simple sophisticated little statement like if you wanted to wear that to church on Christmas Eve if you know if you're Christian obviously and if you go to church if not um, that's another thing that I love about her plates is that she gives you plenty of stuff that you know non-denominational um, messages that work even if you know y you don't have any religious affiliation at all I think we we most of us on this planet agree that you know peace on earth is a noble goal right so there's lots of stuff that you can play around with here did I miss this little this little reindeer guy I did adorable little reindeer guy and I could totally see having this tree here and just with the reindeer next to it um, or like having the, the this tree on one nail and then the little reindeer over here uh, maybe doing like a little layer of fallen snow across your nails and then you've just got the tree and the reindeer and that is just beautiful silent majesty for winter love that gorgeous um, I love you can tell I love winter and you can tell I love Christmas in a different way than I love Halloween but just as much so as always uber chic beauties full nail images are 1.7 centimeters across 2.1 centimeters uh, tall and then here is a look with the ruler um, so you can judge uh, the rest of those little images 
um, how big those are. Um, but you can also see here that, you know, like even these presents, my nails are, you know, they're, they're fairly narrow and that's going to probably fit. Uh, you're going to definitely be able to tell that that's a present. It's not going to, it's going to be a little bit tight. And I think that's pretty much kind of the widest image that you've got on there. Um, you know, that tree is just perfect and beautiful. Okay, for my stamping test, I am going to use Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Plummet. And I'm going to do one layering image, and for that one I will use Reteal Therapy, also Sally Hansen Insta-Dry, but apparently I lost my label. And I will use my clear stamper. Gorgeous pickup on that image. And gorgeous transfer. And there's that bow. And there it is on the nail. And there's layer two. And how adorable is that? Oh my gosh, so cute. And there we have some super fine lines. And they transfer beautifully. And there are those candy cane lines, just gorgeous. And I didn't apply perfectly, but you can see how it still gives it a little bit of a curve. There's that little cute Santa. Look at how perfectly that comes out, even though you've got all those fine lines. And I had a feeling he wouldn't fit, because this is my pinky. Um, so, but he mostly even fits, like, you could definitely see him and know what that was even on my pinky, and he would fit no problem on my other nails. So, as usual with, um, Uber Chic Beauty, just really gorgeous quality, I will link everything down below, and thank you for watching.